As fogging is the weapon of choice to rid the island of the pesky mosquitoes that cause dengue, so it is the weapon of mass destruction to beehives, which house the animals responsible for pollination, food supplies, and, of course, honey. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture, and Fisheries is urging beekeepers to take special precaution in the management of their beehives during aerial spraying and fogging. Chief Plant Protection Officer in the Apiculture Unit of the Ministry, Hugh Smith, said the chemical being used to eradicate mosquito is hazardous to the honeybees at all stages, eggs, larvae, prepupae, and adults. Every effort, he says, must therefore be made to prevent the fog coming into the beehives to cause the destruction of the bee colonies. The problem is that the fog may also contaminate stored honey and bee pollen within the beehive, making them unhealthy for both bees and human consumption. He has recommended adherence to the measures aimed at protecting the beehive. Listen carefully to announcements from the Ministry of Health regarding when and where spraying will be conducted or call your local health office for schedules. Contact neighboring beekeepers and inform them of the procedures. Since spraying is usually carried out at dusk, it is important to allow all bees who go out to return into the hives prior to preparing them against spray drift. Remove hive covers and place an empty hive body onto each beehive, then replace the covers. This will provide additional space for ventilation. Close all hive entrances by blocking them with rolled damped newspaper or damped cloth to absorb spray drift. The damp entrance blocks will also help to reduce the buildup of hive temperature. After the fusion of spray or fog beekeepers should promptly remove entrance blocks and spray four to five mists of clean water from a spray bottle into each beehive. Michael Sharp, Frontline News.